What's up guys, today we're gonna to be painting a little jellyfish scene. A little underwater ditty. Let's get started. For this I like to go light to dark and work my way out. So, what we're gonna do for that is white in the center. Get some of this ocean mist blue. We're gonna go in with Caribbean blue. Just stop myself right there, really quick, and just throw down some. Colors for my coral and whatnot underneath. Don't overthink this part. I'm gonna be covering all of it up. Maybe do some purple. And maybe some pink. One more, let's get a little tiny bit of what else? Let's do some neon orange too. We're gonna take the trusty hair dryer here and just set the paint a little bit. Back to our water, Caribbean blue. It's trying to create a fade between each of these layers of blue here. So just light little bursts. You don't want any hard lines. We'll pop in with some. Some brilliant blue. See that fade come in, it looks pretty good. Then deep blue. I just got a load of Rust-Oleum paint. I got some interesting colors I haven't seen before. I think this Caribbean blue. Got it at a liquidation store that a whole bunch of paint. And this uh, definitely adds some cool stuff to my arsenal. Coming in with deep blue here. To get these fades, I'm just keeping my can pretty far away from the page here, about a foot away. I'm gonna do another just dot of white here, really brighten that up. That looks good. And last but not least, navy blue to darkest. Now, similar to before, I'm gonna use my 
my hair dryer here just to set some of the blue. Um, but I'm not going to go quite as long. I still want it to be malleable. It's going to be pulling paint off. I'm just focusing in the bottom section. start pulling off. Actually, we're going to crumple up like this. And if I look, I can see some of these orange lines from where I put that orange on. I'm going to go in there specifically to drag some paint off. Definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Things look imperfect to nature. And that's what makes them perfect. So don't stress too much. We're gonna come in and create some coral. Now, if you're getting sticky like me, a little bit of clear coat. Woo! That came out hot. Just a tiny bit of clear coat. I'm gonna go in with a bag this time. So I can really kinda manipulate how much paint I wanna come off by just adjusting my pressure. It's starting to look really cool. Just a little bit of etching for some depth.
couple sections of our existing structure. Give it a little blast. Give it a sense that there's not just a one-dimensional layer of coral. There's some other stuff going on here. Perfect. Now that we've got that, we're just going to go over the whole thing one more time uh, with our hair dryer. Just dry out the paint, set it, and that way we can uh, do our jellyfish. piece of card or a poster board here and we want to make a, a semicircle like this and we're going to be spraying some white just right in there while holding it up against the poster board to give us the body of our jellyfish This is the part I'd say most people are likely to mess up on, including myself. This could go a little bit hairy, but we're gonna do our best. When we spray onto here, all the paint's gonna run down. So we have to both be quick and use a reasonable amount of paint, not too much. Otherwise, you're gonna get drips like crazy and it's gonna ruin the whole piece. So, let's give it a shot. Here's one. Really want to wipe that off in between. And try to vary your sizes as well. Back this down again. Two. That one's a little bit imperfect, but again, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to be fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Moving on, we'll go a little bit bigger for this guy. We're gonna to move to a new piece of cardboard. They really don't last very long. One more, let's 
see how that looks. So we did get a drip and that's totally fine. It's not the end of the world by any means. We're gonna try to fix it. So I'm gonna use the glossy side here of my poster board. I'm going to get gloss white going. And I'm going to get one of these beautiful little, what are they called? A script brush. Spray my white down and get my brush soaked in paint. And I'm going to come in and just paint some lines here. Give the jellyfish a little bit of shape. Again, we don't have to be perfect. brushes just so I can keep them nice and clean and, and working good but this time that is not the case I'm using just spray paint on one of my nicer brushes uh, but I got a way to figure that out as well afterwards since we got the bodies of our jellyfish we are gonna come in and do some swooping lines kind of like that um, for their legs and their tails and their feet I don't know what they're called the mandibles
since we got our little legs painted in here, uh, I'm just going to do one final step. And that's going to be to add Mon Montana Gold uh, Acrylic Transparent. So that's, that part's really important. Uh, these paints are kind of meant to just go over white and add uh, some color to it. So I'm going to give our Dilly Fish a bit of color. I think it'll make it pop a little bit more. And then this piece will be finished. Uh, it's, it's just kind of a simple seascape. It's honestly the, only the second time I made a seascape and played with these jellyfish. So, uh, you know, results are gonna vary, but that's part of learning and, and making good. I think we've got a nice little base for a solid piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and really mix up these transparent paints before I go in and try to spray them on. And I'm just gonna kind of match, match the existing colors or shapes that I already had from previous, previously putting these jellyfish in. I'll do it for that. I'll go a little greeny blue up top here. A little pink. Purple. Last steps to go in and sign it. For that, we're gonna need just a little bit of clear coat. Boom. There we go, guys underwater seascape with jellyfish play around with it practice makes perfect i'd probably need to do this piece like four or five more times to get really solid at it nonetheless pretty much my well i guess my second attempt at a piece like this i like the result you do it at home too just pick up some paint follow along with the video and you guys will be good to go